Hello everyone in the next video from Flashpoint Campaign Software and Storm and today we are jumping into another scenario. Uh, by the way, uh, a day or two days ago we've received Thanksgiving update, uh, which is very nice. As far as I know there is uh, quite a bit of improvement. I don't know exactly what has been improved. Uh, we will We will see. I know that there are some new scenarios added, uh, so let's take a look. I will just turn on all all filters. Uh, I have no idea which which scenarios were added. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's go to very small and small scenarios. So we've already finished Brothers in Arms. So the next one is crossing the Valdnap. Uh, let's read quickly what it has to offer. This is a four hour scenario on the Windischenbach. Wow. Windischenbach map? I have no idea whether I pronounce it correctly. So I'm very sorry for uh, German speakers. Uh, this scenario has a total of approximately 47 units. Uh, is it quite similar? Yeah, it's quite similar to Brothers in Arms. Uh, units combined. Uh, we are going to play West German versus Czechoslovakia. Okay, uh, I would prefer to comment something else, but that's fine. Now let's read the brief or the introduction. Crossing the Waldnap, uh, 20th July 1989, 1000. Uh, east of Wiedin Schenbach, Germany, West German vs. Vers Czechoslovak forces. In Prague, the mood was somber. The Czechoslovakian leadership had its own internal problems and could not help to feel that. Whatever way events unfolded, the coming war would only make their internal problems harder. Their enthusiasm for the coming offensive was at best lukewarm. Okay. Alas. Okay, that's the first time I see that word. Political realities, including a Soviet army deep inside Czechoslovakia, meant that they had to be pragmatic for the sake of their own survival. They were fortunate that, in this display of real politics, they had the support of the security forces and of the army. The Czechoslovakian army had an ungrateful task in the war ahead. Unlike their East German allies, they would be attacking alone into a defense manned by the bulk of a West German Panzer Grenadier Division, part of the US 1st Armored Division and the 2nd Cavalry Squadron. Okay, well, those are forces. Uh, w once again, a uh, defense manned by the bulk of West German Panzer Grenadier Division, part of the US 1st Armored Division and the 2nd Cavalry Squadron. Okay. They also had one of the smaller concentrations of the of first echelon forces available, and the Soviet army behind them would take a significant amount of time to reach the front, being more of a mobile reserve for the Soviet forces than a second echelon for the Czechoslovakian forces. They were under no illusions that, within the Warsaw Pact strategy, their task would be one of the most difficult to achieve. Despite this, the army was determined to be successful on the task assigned to them. This was, of course, dictated by the fact that being on the winning side would be far easier for the political leadership than being on the losing side. The army in this agreed with the politicians and an alliance of need was born between them. They both stake their future on a positive outcome for the war. Whoa, that's, that's so long. Czechoslovakian operations were planned to start later than the main attack originating from East Germany. The most important reason for this was to allow a concentration of air assets to develop air superiority over the attack corridors. As soon as the Czechoslovakian attack started, part of the packed frontal aviation would switch to support them. In practice, because the Czechoslovakians feared that any delay on the aviation support would mean the bulk of their forces would be pummeled from the air at the border crossings, they only started to move en masse when the aviation was already doing its work. In practice, the result of these gaps was that the Czechoslovakian divisions ended much more stretched and dispersed along the routes of advance. Therefore, the groups moved on the correct timing, the remainder of the division forces was slower to start than scheduled. 
The fourth group of the 19th mechanized division was advancing south, but in tandem with that of the 20th mechanized division. Designer's note: refer to campaign one for the operations of the 20th mechanized division. Okay. The two groups moved rather swiftly over the border, making good use of the flat and vehicle-friendly terrain of the Widen Gap. Making good use of the temporary air superiority over the area, their COs pushed their units to the limit and, sooner than expected by NATO, the four groups were clashing with the defending units as they were starting to consolidate their defenses. Windin Schessenbach is a town at the center of valuable road network, including the Autobahn, Autobahn and now I can use my German knowledge, Drei und Neuntisch, or 93rd, 93, to the east, not only that, not, not only that, but it, it is also crossed by a north-south rail line that south of the town offers a multitude of crossings of the Valnap River. These crossings were the immediate target of the fourth group of the 19th Mechanized Division. The brigade commander of the 10th Panzer Grenadier Brigade, I believe that's a brigade, whose task was to defend this area, was well aware that the bridges could become a target. The most obvious solution to the problem was to blow them. Unfortunately, this would mean stranding all of the refugees heading west, and this early time political and military indecision meant, meant that this was not fully authorized and the 101st Panzer Grenade Battalion from 10th Panzer Grenadiers Brigade would have to retain and defend the Autobahn uh, 93 or giant 90 crossings in the vicinity of Windin Schessenbach. That's a really hard to pronounce. Uh, as the 19th uh, motorized rifle division approached, these crossings became the focal point of the operations. So that's all about introduction. Really long. Let's let's proceed. Uh, computer opponent, uh, we are going to play as NATO commander and we will select the random battle plan for the Warsaw Pact. Uh, difficulty Granard, everything looks good. So let's proceed. And what we have here? Uh, LTC, that's a lieutenant colonel, right? De Grafenried. De Grafenried, okay, that's also quite challenging. Welcome to the crossing the Valdam scenario. You are commanding NATO forces and have five hours to accomplish the mission described in your scenario briefing. Your forces are composed of eight groups of units. Extensive description. Okay, that, that what we'll know. You may know. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Now the crucial information. You are responsible for a total of 90 recce, two helo, 13 tanks. Okay, so we have one company. Of tanks, uh, 26 APCs, 18 infantry, 14 HQ, 2 air defense, 6 self propelled artillery, 80 utility, and 8 depot subunits worth 4766 victory points. Remember, these assets are all but irreplaceable. And any engineered obstacles improved positions or minefields have been placed by the scenario designer and may not be moved by you. Okay, and good luck, thank you. That's interesting, let's see. Okay, so here we have uh, obstacles. Okay, that's very nice. Love to see that. So that's a, that's a symbol of uh, let me check. That's an obstacle. Here we have uh, the minefield, as uh, as far as I remember. Here we also have uh, defense position, improved position. You can see. I think same about. Uh, that's actually the obstacle across the bridge. We can zoom in. Uh, there is no even a bridge, right? Okay, or maybe it is, but we don't see it. Uh, for sure we have obstacles over here. Uh, what else we do have? Okay, there is also obstacle uh, in front of that bridge of Farken. 
what's that name? There's no way I can... Falkenberg, Falkenberg, okay. Uh, so that that's it, let's see, anything else? So yeah, the terrain is definitely uh, positive for defenders, I mean, it looks good at the first glance. Uh, we will see later uh, during uh, our forces deployment. So let's take a look at the forces available. Uh, okay, we have second company, third company, fourth company. We have also RC. I have no idea what's RC. We have also Panther Artillery uh, Battalion. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's a West German Surf Prepared Artillery Company and we have what kind of subunits? So we have Command Vehicle, fair enough. We have also Forward Observer, interesting. And we have 6M109G uh, Self Prepared Howitzers. Uh, that's very, very nice, 1965. Okay. Uh, 155 uh, caliber which is the standard for NATO. Let's take a look at the range. It's a quite small range. It's only around 15 kilometers. So yeah, that's definitely old, old quite quite old gear. Okay, what we have over here, that's uh, HQ and that's HQ for for our artillery. Perfect. Looks good. Uh, and what we have over here. So we have some cavalry units and those are Motorcycle Recon and they are equipped with G3 and hand grenades. Okay, so you are going to be used only as a recce. I don't don't think you will be engaged in the in the combat unless necessary. Okay, same about them. So yeah, that's a motorized cavalry scouts uh, what else? Yeah, we have quite a few of them. Okay, that's an HQ of them. Okay, so we have dedicated uh, element of recon. Uh, we have two recon units also in the third company. We have also two recon units in the second company. Okay, fair enough. What else do we have? I see that we have mechanized infantry. West German Armored Carrier Platoon and what you have here? You have three Martyrs, one Panzer Grand with 80 GM and two Panzer Grands with Panzer Faust. Those Martyrs are actually quite solid stuff. Three kilometers range. Uh, it's also worth noting that we are going to fight during the day. Okay, fair enough. So that's it, and I believe all of them are kind of same, same units. Uh, that was the first platoon. Here's the third platoon. It's exactly the same. Uh, what about the second company? Let's see. Exactly uh, the same stuff to offer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now the question: Where are my tanks and where are my kilos I'm sure that the scenario was was uh, saying about the kilos am I correct or not where are they I don't see them or I'm completely blind Okay, there is a 4HQ. Rains. Oh, okay, so they serve as reinforcements and they will come at around 13, which is first, day, uh, first PM. Okay, so we need to hold for three hours before they come. Wow. That's. That's not the best information. And what we have here? We have one Leo. And that's HQ, okay. Uh, that's Leo 1A5. 5 kilometer range. 
looks good. What about the sensors? Laser range finder, night, vi night vision. Okay, well, we are not going to use night vision. Mm, no thermal imagers. Okay, so that's an HQ. Uh, and here we, we have the first platoon uh, from the fourth company. So we have four 1A5 Leos. Okay, lovely stuff. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Uh, 18 hi high explosives rounds, 19 armor precinct rounds, and 19 high explosives anti tanks. Okay, so they have a bit of ammunition, a bit more than Abrams, though. And I think the second platoon and the third platoon are, are the copy. Yeah, so they come as reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. What about our victory points then? Well, wait, 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 wait. I know we have also helos. Okay, and they will come in about 1 hour and 30 minutes. And those are P A H I B O 105. That looks ugly. But they are equipped with HOT 2 ATGMs with 4 kilometers range. So. There is a chance that we will be able to use them uh, effectively as long as uh, enemies don't don't have uh, multiple air defense systems. Uh, we are fighting against Czechoslovakians, so there is a small chance that they are not equipped that well as uh, standard Warsaw Pact units. So we will see. Okay, so. Most of our defense uh, depends on mechanized infantry uh, for the very beginning. Uh, I'm I'm wondering where I should deploy my units. But before I do that, I should jump into intelligence and threat assessment. And let's read it. Intel reports indicate that elements from the 19th motorized division uh, are advancing along the B-15. And that's a B-15 road. Okay, so if that's true, they will they will go like that southwestwards this way. Uh, should I expect some forces uh, attacking Falkenberg and trying to trying to flank us from the north? We will see. I think I will use my scouts to to find out i will just station them somewhere around falkenberg if any units appear i will try to reinforce those those recons with my mechanized infantry but uh for the for the very beginning i think i will place bulk of my forces around that that city with extremely hard to pronounce name I will try once more. Windy Sessionbach. I think I will Google it and try to try to find out how to pronounce it properly. So next time I will I will just well say it as I should. So I'm very sorry again for for uh, for all Germans. Okay, but anyway, let's go back to a thread brief. Uh, current information leads to the conclusion that the reinforced motor rifle regiment has been given the task of securing crossing sites over the Valnap, uh, Valnap River in the area of, yes, that city. As usual, the lead elements will have artillery support and may have some aviation elements. And we can see airspace control, strong Warsaw Pact, lovely. My question is, where is my air defense? Do we have any? That's an HQ. They don't have any air defense. Same about them. Okay, uh, I'm I'm confused. Do we have any kind of air defense game? Like really, no, no units for the air defense. No man pads. I mean stingers or whatever if that's actually true that's gonna be really hard to defend seriously there is no 
There's no air defense at all. Okay. That means that if we place our units in the open field, or even in the forest, it will be quite vulnerable. I think we we have to we have to concentrate our defense uh, in the urban area, which is a bit more more friendly for 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 our units, especially such a soft targets for the for the air elements. Okay. Uh, what else? Mm, that's it. So they should start around Pilmer Sroif on the Straße around here and they will go along B15 road. Okay, enemy sit trap. Uh, yeah, that's interesting information for sure. So we are expecting 20 to 30 uh, Reiki subunits. 30 to 40 tanks which is around three companies so that's a battalion of tanks okay 60 to 70 APCs okay 50 to 60 infantry 1 to 10 anti tank 20 to 30 headquarters 1 to 10 air defense 10 to 20 self prepared artillery 10 to 12 to 10 to 20 artillery and 1 to 10 utility vehicle uh, and 1 to 10 aircraft subunits. Oh god. So again, we are heavily outnumbered. How lovely. Uh, reported kills and claims. Yeah, weather forecast. Should we really care about that? Uh, not really. The cloud sailing. Domination. Yeah, we are fighting during the day. The cloud sailing is a bit low though. So that favors us since enemy air subunits won't be able to hit us that easily they will they will have to fly v on the very low attitude unless using uh, any kind of munition which is i would i, I would call it a, the standoff munition so they don't need to fly uh, above targets directly and they don't need to have like the uh, visual confirmation of the target but I don't know how it's how it's modeled in that game in case of that close air support which we know for example from the Second World War or how a tens tend to do to do that throughout different con conflicts uh, in the Middle East uh, such a low cloud sailing is definitely a problem for for enemy air assets so that's it now, uh, electronic warfare report, and that's very, very harsh for us. So, the electronic warfare burden inflicted on enemy forces is very low. Okay. The current electronic warfare burden inflicted on friendly forces is very high. This will delay friendly orders transmission by 48%. The chance of HQ radio detection is 0%. Okay, that's, that's at least some good information. The next order cycle will be increased approximately 82% from 22 to 40 minutes and you can see that's a terribly long command cycle. So it's like well single command cycle will take roughly not exactly one fifth but something like that of the full uh, scenario time so yeah that's very very harsh for us. Okay, enemy of map assets, nothing here. Let's take a look at OPS submission briefing. We've read it already. You can see that we are supposed to defend around that lovely city. Map overlay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I thought that I'm, I may find my air defense units. It looks like we don't have any of them. Interesting. Okay. Engineering, uh, nothing. Earth support, yeah, you can see Earth space control, strong Warsaw Pact, and the cloud sailing is very, very low. Emitters, nothing. So we don't have any radio uh, emitting units, like for example, SPAG from uh, tutorial scenarios or that uh, GSR, which is uh, 
ground surveillance radar. We don't have anything like that, which is good. And those are our units over here. Okay, mission capable subunits. So we know that already. 19 Reiki, 2 AD. I have no idea where we have those ADs. Are helos considered as ADs, but HOT 2 isn't air to air, right? Trying to. Okay, here it is. Weapons. No, HOT 2 is ATGM, so I have no idea where are our ADs. Let's find it. Air defense started to. Okay, uh, let's take a look at that. Maybe we'll find where it, where it is. Static FARP, Command Unit Main, Battle Tanks, Self Prepared RT, Ford Observer Unit, Command Vehicle, Tracked APC, Tracked IFV, uh, Motorcycle Recon Unit, Attack Helicopter, ATGM, Red Eye, infant some infantry unit. Okay, where it is. Is it stacked with something on a single hex? But no, I, w I would see it, right? Red eye. Where is that unit? Looks like I'm blind. Okay, let's go from... Let's go through all the units we have over here. There is no AD. Maybe that HQ, let's go all of them no nothing here panzer grenadiers okay nothing over here nothing 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 another platoon nothing 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 okay now the scouts also nothing Nothing again. Another HQ, maybe here. Nope, 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 and nope. So, third platoon. Now those are Panzer Faust only. I don't see any uh, red eye. Where it is? No and no. Same about uh, something exactly here. I mean something, exactly same here, nothing over here, nothing again, okay, maybe HQ, there is a chance, oh my goodness, so many, there's so many uh, scout units here, I'm wondering how we should use them, uh, but also, nothing, no, no air defense, what about you, maybe you, no, have some wolf jeeps maybe here nope okay uh what about that hq no 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 and no okay maybe self prepared rt no 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 and no where are those red eyes Are they coming as a as a reinforcement? What about that HQ? No, you you are not equipped with any kind of air defense capabilities. No, I, I I'm completely confused. I don't know where 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 are those ADs hidden. Jesus. Where are they? Are they somewhere on the map? Or they are s hidden somewhere? No, they are not. I thought that, may that maybe they are stacked with some other units, but no. I, c I can't find them. Huh. Okay, that's uh, that's very interesting. What about Farp? Where is that? 
Oh, here is here is the farp. But you are where? Uh, okay, you will come as a reinforcement at eleven. So in about one hour, and you probably have those red eyes, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you have them. Okay, here. Are. They are here, red eye. Okay. Now we we got the answer. Yeah, of course they they won't be able to protect us. They have range of three kilometers, so I I'm not sure, but I think they will be deployed here, and we cannot move it since it's static, right? So yeah, we cannot move the the, the units from from the farp. So of course, if I could I would I would send them to the city and trying to, to at least somehow help my other uni my other ground units but looks like that's gonna be impossible so yeah now we got the answer after analyzing all all the units uh, so uh, next thing we have to figure out is to where uh, deploy our units check all the line of sites and give proper SOPs but I think that's gonna be part of the next episode so I hope you enjoyed and see you next time I think in about two days thank you once again and goodbye